team of the season is right around the corner, you guys, and it is time to start preparing. Am I right, fellas? What's going on, guys? It's Tony Sauce. Thank you for checking out the video. Like I said, it is time to start preparing for team of the season, all right? There's a high chance that it could come out this Friday, March 15th, all right? I don't think it's confirmed, but definitely a high chance that team of the season could be coming out this Friday. Now, I have like 219K to my name right now in this game. Uh, I did buy like 100K worth of players, like 86s, 83s, 84s, 85s, just like whatever I could snipe. I was picking up so that I have fodder to trade in because you're not going to be able to do anything with these coins, bro. And there's a high chance that the market could go up. Now, I don't think the market's going to go up as much. Like, I think on Friday, there's going to be a ton of people ripping packs, a ton of people selling off their players. You'll be able to still get snipes on Friday, but it still is good to prepare. But I don't know. I don't think it's going to go like it's going to be a crazy high market. You know, I don't think you're going to be like barred out from getting an 83. Like, I don't think 83s are going to be 5K. Like, People are going to be buying a ton of packs. People are going to be opening a ton of packs. Like, I'm stacking up all of my packs for Friday when Team of the Season comes out. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But, yeah, it is good to start investing in some players. 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s, whatever you can snipe, all right? Now, I'm not really going to go over, like, who I think is going to get Team of the Season. I'm not going to dive that deep into it. So if a player gets a Team of the Season card, but he already has an MSP, you'll be able to trade in that MSP and get his Team of the Season card like half off. Like for example, Austin Matthews, bro, he's been popping off this year. You could get his Team of the Season card half off by trading in his Elite's MSP. Same with like Rantanen, Elite's MSP. Uh, what's his name? Elias Pettersson. Trade in, his, trade in his MSP and you'll get his set like half off. So you know, I don't think it's worth building up those sets right now. Like, unless you haven't done the elites objectives and you can get, like, one of those elites cards. You know, I don't really think it's, like, worth building up one of those players. Unless you really like that player. Unless you're, like, I'm a huge Elias Pettersson fan. I'm getting his team of the season card. Then, yeah, you can build up his MSP. See if, you know, there's some elite objectives you can do. But I don't know. What I do want to show you guys is my checklist. All right. Now, I did this for team of the year. It seemed like it helped out a lot of players. So let's take a look at my checklist. So first thing you're, you're going to want to do is stack your packs. All right. Every pack from now on, I, I really recommend saving it okay now if some dope content comes out this week like tuesday wednesday yeah you can you can open up your packs but like dude those players will still be in packs on friday you might as well save them it'll be fun doing like a huge pack opening when team of the season comes out another one is invest your coins i just talked about this you know you should definitely you don't have to spend your whole coin stack like i don't want to spend all 200k but i'm probably going to spend like another 100k on just fodder all right trying to get snipes you know, I could always potentially resell them for a profit when team of the uh, team of the season comes out. Like Friday, cards are going to be cheap, but Saturday, Sunday, like people are playing hot champs. They already opened their packs on Friday. We're going to see the market go up a little bit. So, you know, keep that in mind. Next thing you, you guys are going to want to do is rivals, squad battles, champs. All right, fellas. Now I'm already in ultimate for rivals. Squad battles, like I don't even know if I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind it a little bit. I'll do like the two featured games for double the points, but like I'm not gonna kill myself over the mindless squad battle games i literally, literally hate those games dude i hate it but if you're trying to get as many team of the season cards you're trying to prepare as much as possible or you're a new player grind squad battles bro grind squad battles all right finally we got champs um so the champ season last week already ended so like you're not going to be able to get you're going to get champs rewards from last week but if you didn't do last week's champs rewards you're not going to be able to get rewards for this Friday when Team of the Season comes out. But if you start champs this week, like when it uh, starts on Wednesday, you'll get your rewards next Tuesday. And Team of the Season cards will still be in those uh, packs. So just keep that in mind. Next thing you're, you're going to want to do, guys, is stack fodder from the trade deadline event. Now, this is really important because with the trade deadline event, you can get some insane fodder, boys. Like, people are getting multiple 88s, multiple 89s. Like, I know this event is cheeks, but, dude, go take a look at my video. It's going to be the first one in the description. of. It's called, like, why I'm doing team of the uh, trade deadline event. Is it worth doing? It's, like, some title like that. Um, but it is worth doing. Like, not selling your soul to grind it but like dude you do hot rush for an hour and you do uh the objectives for like another hour spend two hours on this event you could potentially get like 388s dude that's really good fodder for team of the season all right fellas so keep that in mind the next thing you're, you're gonna want to do is the saint patrick's day objectives now this just came out today 
It's a Monday morning, bro, and they just released content. What? Must be a glitch. But no, boys, seriously, take a look at the, uh, at these objectives. It's mad easy. You're just going to want to come down here. St. Patrick's Day. Um, complete one or more games with Leafs players. Take shots with Leafs players. Take shots with any Leafs alumni. Like, mad easy, bro. Grind this out in squad battles for... An hour, and you'll be cooking, bro. You'll be cooking. You're gonna get an 85 to 95 overall St. Patrick's Day pack. Now listen, listen. Now actually, now that I'm thinking about this, this might only contain players from this St. Patrick's Day drop. So I might test this out for you guys. I, I probably will. I'll test this out for you guys on my uh, on my alt account that I don't I don't really grind that much. I'll grind it out and I'll open up the packs and I'll see if this contains only these players because if it only contains these players. It's not going to be worth it for team of the season. And no, 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 no. It still will be worth it for team of the season because you could get some good fodder, but it's not really worth saving it for team of the season because, you know, you can just open it up today and get that dopamine rush today, boys. You know, we want that dopamine rush from these purple pulls. All right, guys, the next thing you're going to want to do, I did this for team of the year and it was worth it, bro. Grind for this 85 plus pack through diamond collectibles. All right, I'm going to show you guys where this pack is. So this pack, boys, you're going to want to come over to sets. Come over to the game mode sets, all right? And then this final tab, diamond collectibles, all right? You can get some really good packs in here, boys. You can get an ultimate choice pack for 20, but like you're not getting 20 diamond collectibles. I'm sorry. But for eight diamond collectibles, you can get a guaranteed 185 plus overall players pack. During team of the year, I got an insane like 89 pull. My best friend who also plays hot, he got a really good pull in this pack too. So it's definitely worth doing. To get diamond collectibles, what I recommend doing is doing your hot rush. You can get like a few from hot rush, all right? By just trading in like eight hot rush uh, collectibles just because like these packs suck three gold player pack and a premium pack like dude put them into diamond collectibles but what you can also do is you can grind live moments now you're if you're a veteran player who's been playing since launch like you probably already have grinded a ton of these live moment collectibles but if you still have these if you still have these live moment uh challenges to do you can trade in your live moment collectibles that you get through those challenges for diamond collectibles so you're going to want to come over here single player Hot moments and then come over to the live moments right here right here live moments i haven't done any of them bro i haven't done any of them so i can grind these for like an hour look two live moment collectibles and you get a two gold player pack too 500 coins four live moment collectibles four eight like dude you can get a ton of live moment collectibles bro this is probably like one of the best low-key things you can do for team of the season bro like if you're trying to figure out what else can i grind i already did my rivals i already did my squad battles i already grinded my ass off and hut champs bro take a look at these live moment collectibles brother but seriously guys it's crunch time it's crunch time if, if team of the season is not the next event it's definitely going to be the one after that you know real quick guys to end this video we're going to be taking a look at last year's team of the season cards just want to show you guys what they could potentially look like if you're unfamiliar they are going to be some really good cards the art last year was cheeks i have a feeling that they're going to make up for that this year because oh my god it was bad last year but take a look they're really good cards in the sense that like they give you plus three uh boost for synergies which is like one of the main reasons why they're nasty like that's why team of the year was so hype bro is they like they unlock synergies that you couldn't use before so let's take a look at like uh stamkos every synergy plus three all right 99 everything like they're not going to be 99s at first but they're gonna you're gonna get free upgrades with these cards all right you're gonna get free upgrades some dope abilities here um you know i kind of want to see like one of the 92s but they're all like boosted to 99 but um yeah either way they're just really good cards maddie berniers bunch of abilities here but yeah they're probably gonna start around like I would say like 95 because we already have 95s out. There's no way they're going to be like lower than that. Right, guys? You'd think. But yeah, boys, um, it's going to be a dope event. I definitely recommend stacking your bread for this event, stacking your packs, and just getting prepared for it because you don't want to be one of those guys that didn't prepare and then you're left using uh, 84 overall Caroline Harvey. Am I right, guys? So uh, just keep that in mind. 
Once again, it's your boy Tony Sauce. Thank you for checking out the video. If you have any questions about this event, drop them in the comments. I answer every single one of my comments right away. I'm super excited for this event. I hope you are too. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch as well as my other socials. They'll be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.